Halls of Torment is a top-down action RPG roguelite which borrows some elements from vampire survivors but is more similar to a traditional ARPG experience. There is equipment to obtain, people to rescue, upgrades with far fewer limitations, and bosses with actual boss patterns. There's quite a bit I like about the game, from its charming 90s art style, to its weapon types, to its cheesy voice acting, and simplistic sound design. The hitboxes are precise, allowing for pinpoint movement through hordes of enemies. The bosses all have unique and challenging attack patterns. The classes feel completely different and each get their own upgrades. It's fun to play. But will any of that be the case five months from now, or a few weeks, or even by the time you watch this video? I'm not sure. Judging by the message I got with this review copy, and its nature as an early access release, so much of the game is incomplete and subject to change that nothing is certain. And this is a problem with a lot of modern games. I'm here to talk about art, the value in artistry, and analyze game design. Yet, it often doesn't feel like I'm reviewing art, but instead reviewing someone's five-year plan, subject to approval by the consumer masses. So I truthfully don't know if I've actually played Halls of Torment, because whether I have depends entirely on your frame of reference. I loved playing it, but the elements I enjoyed could expand or could shrink or disappear altogether. Interactive art has changed, and sometimes it weighs heavier than others, particularly if I find something I genuinely connect with. All the same, if this looks interesting to you, the store page is in the description, as always.